today I will be traveling from Buceris, Buceris to Sayulita, Sayulita, Mexico. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we can find. Okay, I want to give you a brief overview um, or history of Sayulita is where we're going today. Um, once a sleepy fishing village, Sayulita, Mexico was established as a community in 1941 and families from the neighboring state immigrated to the area. After completing Highway 200 in the late 1960s, it was discovered as a popular surf destination for its consistent wave breaks and has become quite diverse with its native Cora and local population and the growing attraction of international tourists and local craftsmen. Since then, Sayulita has continued to gain popularity not only for its great surfing but also for its art galleries, delicious restaurants, trendy spots, nature activities, and relaxed lifestyle. Currently home to about 4,000 residents and many of those residents, by the way, speak English, who cherish their community and aim to protect their environment. Development has been limited, so whenever you come to Sayulita, it's still gonna have that um, natural and um, um, kind of back in time look uh, without having the feeling of a mega resort like the one I showed you earlier um, in Porta uh, Vallarta, Buceris. So this is the road uh, to Sayulita and as you can see once again it's green everywhere. Very nice drive. Um, we had to drive up and over a mountain to get into uh, the coastal town um, or village of Sayulita. And right here um, you know we're, we're in town. This turn here. Nope we're going straight. We got... Yeah so it's very nice very quiet. Um, you know, the area is, is very walkable, people are very friendly um, here as far, as far as what I understand. You know, all over Mexico, everyone's friendly, very polite, um, will help you, you know, no problem with talking to anyone. Um, but, you know, word of advice, you should learn how to speak some Spanish. Because the locals, they really respect that if you try to uh, communicate with them in their English. So, as I get out of the car here shortly, I'm going to take you on a little tour and show you some of the things um, that I saw while in Sao Yulita. And here are a few of the uh, streets that I walked down. I kind of started to explore Sao Yulita here, a church there. 95% of Sao Yulita is Catholic, by the way. So I wanted to get off the beaten path, so I took some back roads and through some alleys. Um, once again, it's very safe and crossed this went past this gate, went up these stairs here, uh, cut through this little back uh, alley by a wall, it's very scenic, and started finding all these boutique hotels. Um, this hotel was very nice, the owners, they invited me in, showed me around, um, it's very nice, went up onto the rooftop, this is the rooftop of the hotel, uh, boutique hotel, pool, cabanas, it's a bar up there, uh, very, very nice. Uh, here's another shot for you to give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, that's a boutique hotel that's right next door. You can see the ocean, the beach is that way. It's very, very nice. And I kind of got the hint, man, there's like, um, um, you know, another way to live when you come to these towns. And I hadn't thought of it before. So I kind of started exploring a little bit more. And there, there are boutique hotels like all over the place. Um, I didn't research it before. But, you know, for my next visit, um, that's one of the things that I'm going to try to do is research these boutique hotels because they're, they're very picture, picturesque. And the scenery and the private beaches, I mean, they're, they're also very nice. This is a private beach. Kind of had to do a little hike to get there. But it's very nice. Those are million dollar homes you see in the background back there. You can hike up by those as well. Um, I could see them from the private beach where we uh, were at. And right here, this is another boutique hotel. And there were some of the people that were staying at the hotel in the background. I kind of went up there, took a look at the hotel. It's very nice, very plush. 
uh, very private, um, uh, taking selfies all day out there. Uh, it's really lush and green. Here you could have your breakfast, lunch, or dinner right on the ocean. Take a look at that. I think you will enjoy. And once again, if you don't feel like um, walking, you can rent a golf cart to get around to all these places. So that's no problem. It only costs you about 100 to 200 pesos an hour. Here in the town of Sayulita, this is the main tourist area. As you can see, this is one of the main uh, walkways to go to the beach. Yeah. Uh, La Playa, public beach, so anyone can walk on there, you don't have to pay anything. And as you can see, I'm getting a shot of the background back here. That's the beach, as you see in the back, back there. A lot of vendors on the street. Um, pretty common stuff that you can get, and there may be some unique stuff out here. I haven't bought anything yet, but um, uh, the people are very friendly. Pesos, dollars, credit cards, they take everything. You can use the debit card. There are um, uh, debit card machines all over the place. Um, they also take dollars out here, so the currency is uh, fairly flexible. So I'll give you a 360 view. All different types of nationalities out here. Mainly, um, see a lot of Caucasians, some Asians and maybe one or two blacks, that's about it. Also, there are bars like everywhere. This place is very walkable. Little eateries on the street. Um, a lot of vendors, as you can see. Very entertaining place. You're gonna come, come to Salguita. It's very nice here. Very nice. Am I forgetting something? What am I forgetting? Oh yeah. You thought I might have forgot, but I didn't. Here are the drinks, boy!
such a good job. But it's not over yet. Here comes the fruit. Hold on.